So today I want to go over how to start mixing your Egyptian paste. Now remember, this is one of our mini projects or mini lessons, and it's an experiment. So don't be upset if this doesn't work out. From most of the information you've seen so far in either the articles you've read or in the video you watched, you can see that it's a very difficult material to work with, and it's not uncommon for things not to work out the way they're supposed to. The first thing is, is that you need to make sure that you're wearing a mask because we are dealing with dry powders. That dry powder is harmful if you breathe that in and it can settle into your lungs. So it's really important that you have your mask on when you're doing this. So I selected the mauve color and this is the powder. I put it in a plastic cup. Plastic cups are community items. We wanna make sure that you wash and or sanitize your hands uh, prior to getting it out of the cabinet and then of course I just poured some of it in there. So I'm not starting with um, a very exact amount, I just kind of filled this cup. Then I have another cup with some water and I'm just going to pour a little bit of the water in and I'm going to use this popsicle stick here to kind of start getting that water to mush into the clay and so I'm slowly mixing it. Um, I don't want to add a lot of water at one time. I want to go nice and slow. And you can see that it's kind of starting to get clumpy. So I'm going to need to add a little bit more water. And I want to mix that nice and slow. I really don't want to get the powder like airborne too much. It will happen a little bit, um, but the the more we can keep that powder from being in the air, the healthier it is for us. But you're wearing a mask, so that should help you from breathing that in. But dry powders and clay, you want to make sure that you're not breathing in. I did put a piece of newspaper down while I'm working with the powder form of the clay, simply because I want to be able to um, put those powders into the garbage once I'm finished. Now, it's going to start to get a little bit gooey. And I can see, hey, this is getting a little thick. It's kind of like, I don't know, not quite like pudding or kind of like uh, almost looks like cement to me. So I'm going to add a little bit more water and continue to mix it with my stick here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I kind of have this wet pudding-y looking mixture. I'm going to take a plastic baggie. And I'm going to put my mixture into the baggie. So most of that came out of the cup just fine. Or I can come back around with my popsicle stick and just kind of finish collecting the rest of it. So I'm getting as much of my mixture in there. Now you're not making a large amount of this, so don't worry if you're like, oh, I don't have very much. These are going to be very small items. So I'm just going to close the Ziploc baggie and I'm going to kind of squish in the bag so that I can make sure that that powder is mixed really well with the water. Now right now the consistency of this clay is probably more like slip, so it's real goopy. And so it's going to take a little bit to get it to usable. And so I'm just trying to make sure that the powder is properly mixed in with the water. And like I said, I just put a little bit of water in at a time. I want to keep mixing this. Okay. So I feel like it's pretty much the same consistency now. I'm not feeling necessarily a lot of lumps in it, uh, which is what I wanted. Okay. So I'm going to move my newspaper because I'm not working with any more powder at this point. And I'm going to use my stick again to kind of scrape some of it. Now I'm going to lose some of my mixture. It's just going to stick to the plastic. That's how it is. Um, and so I want to get out as much of it as I can. So I'm using that popsicle stick to just kind of shave it off the side, so to speak, or smoosh it off the side, get it down to the bottom. And then I'm going to dump it onto the canvas. Okay. Now remember, this is real wet and mushy. And it's basically, like I said, in that slip form. 
So I'm going to lay it out on the table. I'm going to try to get as much of my mixture out of the bag. So I'm just kind of smooshing the bag together, squeezing it, getting that stuff to come out. And like I said, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of some of my mixture simply because I'm not going to be able to get it all out of the bag. Okay. Then I use my stick and I'm going to spread it out. And so this is going to help absorb some of the moisture out of the clay. So I'm going to spread that out. And again, we're not making a large amount of this by any means. We're just making a small bit. So kind of the thinner I can get it, the better. Then I can also use, I'm using my smooth metal rib to get some of the excess off my stick so that I'm saving as much of the mixture as possible. Spreading that out, letting the canvas soak up some of that moisture. And so this is supposed to be mauve colored and currently right now it's not. So that's what hopefully is the magic that happens in the kiln. But this is a very, very strange type of clay. And so you're going to see some things happen to it before it's fired, like it's going to get white and kind of crystally. We want to be careful as it's drying so that we don't touch too much because those white crystal things are going to be what helps create the self-glazing part. And so I can see that the water is kind of seeping into the canvas, and I'm just going to let it sit here. So I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes. I'm going to pause our video, and I'll be back with you shortly.